Welcome to Ricky Raceway for the sixth race of the part timer series. On the front row is the points leader, Robert Rogers on pole, and beside him is Brenda Rogers, husband and wife on different teams. Robert driving for his son's team, Brenda driving for Chip Ganassi. Both of them have been into multiple cup races this season, looking to maybe make cup series debut get back in the Cup Series for next season. Row 2 has Chris Carando and Eric Carralla. Row 3, Connor Breen and Jordan Newman. Row 4, Cameron Gadu and Emerson Arden. And Row 5 is Eric Powers and Sam Rogers. So we get ready for 10 laps here at Ricky Raceway. Hopefully there will not be any cautions. We're here at the night track. This is a night race. So 10 laps of action here. The command has been given. The drivers will start their engines. And something's moving. The flagpoles. Oh, that's weird. Alright, get you to your restart in a minute. We get ready to go racing here. 10 laps of racing. And I said restart at the end of that last clip. What the heck was I thinking? <laughs> Let's get ready for the start of the race here. Husband and wife leading it to the green flag. Will either of them be into the cup race? Robert leading the point standings by two points. Green flag is out. We're on the way here in Canada. As they hit 200 miles per hour, and Robert will move it up in front of Brenda, Brenda Rogers. Chris Carando, a teammate to Robert Rogers, looking low, and he will look for the race lead. There'll be a lot of passing, and as long as they keep it too wide, they will most likely be okay. And Brenda's going to shove Robert out to dry. Oh, and they got a wreck. Big wreck. On the back straightaway. Robert Rogers all over the place. And it looks like making it three wide was not a good move. And we've lost, like, the whole field. And here on lap two, the first and probably only caution of the night. Connor Breton leads. Chris Grand, the second and Eric Powers is third. Holy crap. Sam York with heavy damage. There's Brenda Rogers. Back end damage. Daniel Carnero smoking. Mason Jefferson out. Robert Rogers here with damage. A lot of cars with some minor damage. Not that many people involved as I thought. Looks like only a few cars were heavily damaged. Connor Breton leads. Let's see what caused our first caution of the night. Let's see if we can figure this out here. The two is going to get pushed three wide. And then he's just going to... Oh, the looks like the... Was it the four got into him? Dana Carnero just scrapes the inside of the wall. There's Mason Jefferson. Hits the wall hard. He starts smoking. Two's going to get in front of the... I don't even know. I think that's the 34. And then he spins out. Sam York, it looks like, piled in at the end here. Let's see. Sam York's just going to pile in right into the 40, 42. So it wasn't as big as we thought. But if you watch... Watch the 18. And watch the 18 get shoved down. And there is a wall right there. He just 
hits it with the back end of the car. If he had hit that head on, that might have been a a very bad wreck for him. Mason Jefferson also gets shoved into the wall pretty hard. That's right on board with the 56. On board with Mason Jefferson. Tough break for Mason. Let's get you to the restart. To go back racing, there will be four laps to go restart. Sam York, Mason Jefferson, and Daniel Carneo, the only cars out of the field. And just a little heads up, it will it is most likely going to happen. Next season, we will be using the new 2015 Toyota Camrys. So any cars you see right now for Toyotas in this race will most likely not be returning. Except for the custom Toyotas. Those will most likely stay. But um, the 19 for Joe Gibbs will also be used next season. And the 81 maybe we'll keep. Maybe might be another team that will go to. But um, definitely some things are going to change next season. Because I'll be in college and everything else. So. Focusing on the present, though, green flag back out. Chris Carano does not get a good jump. And a lot of people went high trying to pass him. Is they're going to start double widening it up. Let's see who we got slow. Cindy Vieira, Brenda Rogers, Robert Rogers all seem slow. The rest seem pretty A-OK. -okay. Some drivers maybe trying to shove up to the front right now. It's Nicholas Samudio, Chris Carando, and Connor Breton. And Carando's looking for the lead here at three to go. Cameron Gadu is coming up to the front as well. Also, the field is at 66 right now. For total drivers, we might be shrinking that. To 60, perhaps. Chris Carando still leading it with two laps to go. Connor Breton in second. Cameron Gadu in third. Check out the spectator cam. Connor Breton looking to the lead. Chris Carando is probably not going to make the event. Paul Sardinia, Dion Scott are the three on the bottom right now. Now Paul Sardinia to the lead, going for the lead. White flag in the air. Anybody goes three wide, it could be anybody's game. Deion Scott pulling up in second. Andrew Rich looking for third. 26 and the 27 will pull down. It looks like Andrew Rich will get into third. Three wide coming out of turn four. Paul Sardini will win. Deion Scott, Andrew Rich will advance with him to the cup race. So Paul Sardinia gets his first win in the 26 for any race. Because I don't believe he's won in the cup yet. Alright guys, we'll see you for the cup race.